here is our next project. I was on Craigslist looking for uh, just whatever looked interesting. And I found this uh, lady selling this old used exercise bike for about 25 bucks. And since I had planned to make an exercise bike generator using my bicycle outside, and I was trying to figure out a way to make a stand when I seen a lady selling a chain driven exercise bike for less than wood cost me in wood to make a stand I jumped on it and uh, uh, I've got a motor over here that uh, 250 watt it's used to to electrify bicycles and make scooters when I run it backwards it makes a little electricity and now what I have to do is figure out how I'm actually going to attach it uh, I bought that particular motor because it had a sprocket on it and so I could take the wheel, the front wheel off and attach it to the chain however that wheel makes a pretty good flywheel and so I kinda like having it on there and so I've got to figure out either how to attach a second chain to that big wheel or make some sort of uh, uh, roller that attaches to the motor that that uh, front wheel will spin so I've got to figure out how we're going to do that yet but uh, the idea is uh, to use this as a demonstration model it's kind of hard with an exercise bike or any kind of bike to generate a, any useful amount of electricity a whole lot of calories burned to get a little bit of electricity but as far as a demonstrator model to show that it's kind of simple to produce electricity but you can't get something for nothing you've got to put energy into it in order to transform it into electrical current and so I plan on using this in, in some classes that I'm thinking up right now so let's come back later after I figure it out and we'll see what happens okay here is our bike for our bike generator project and like I said before I got one with a chain because my motor had a chain sprocket and my plan was to disconnect that front wheel and attach my motor however after messing with it a little bit I realized that that front wheel makes a wonderful flywheel you know once it gets up to speed it kinda wants to keep spinning and so I modified my motor a little bit I took the sprocket off and put this pulley on here the problem with it is my pulley the only pulleys I could find were three quarter inch shaft pulleys and the shaft of my motor is eight millimeter so I went down to the tractor supply and got me a quarter inch shaft collar and I went over to a hardware store and got me a, uh, a metric tap and I tapped out the inside of the collar screwed it on and then I, uh, I beat that pulley down on it and then I took some um, uh, weather stripping and wrapped around inside the pulley real tight and then I put a, a couple tight wraps of electrical tape on there and what's going to happen is this is going to sit here what's going to happen is it's going to sit there like that and as the wheel turns it's going to turn my motor now to make sure that I was running at the right direction I put some power to it and then I marked the direction of travel so all I have to do is hook it up so it goes in the opposite way and to do that I took me a little 2x4 and cut a, uh, a, a groove into it and it will fit like this and then the motor it's going to fit like this and the motor is going to fit like that and then I don't have to barely modify the bike at all I just had to drill some uh, holes into this uh, base piece to hold my 2x4 in and uh, I might have to add some zip ties or some other screws to keep that 2x4 in there real good but uh, really that's all I had to do so we're gonna hook it up and see what happens 
Okay, here's the finished product. We've got the bike on there. And then we've got the wiring harness. Now, kind of temporary. I just took some positive and negative um, leads to the spade clip and then wire tied them in up here. And I'm just going to hold them on the, uh, the multimeter and we're going to run the thing. Now, before uh, uh, people who know more about this than I do start hitting me up with uh, comments, I'm worried about the bearing life on the motor because it's pushed up against that front wheel pretty tightly. Um, and when I run this thing, it's kind of unregulated. Electricity, you'll see that it jumps around quite a bit. But I've got my, um, I've got a, one of those Harbor Freight solar kits. And I'm going to plan on using the uh, charger out of it to, uh, to regulate the load for batteries. And I know that's kind of a messed up way. Here, let me turn that a bit so that you can see. Now I'm going to get on here and pedal. It's noisy as I'll get at. I hold the leads over here. I'm gonna get on the pedal, and you can see what it does. So you can tell that I'm generating electricity, but I don't know how usable the electricity is going to be. What I'm intent on using this for is a demonstrator for classes, kind of let people see that it's not hard to make electricity, but it does take some energy to do it. I probably will hook this up to some light bulbs, take it to classes, let people uh, pedal and light up the light bulbs, maybe turn on a radio or so, but uh, you could probably use it to charge your battery if you had a decent uh, charger hooked up to it. But anyway, that's all for now. Till next time, catch us online at www.tngun.com.